Now, our top 10 this month to tie in with our delicious Final Fantasy cover yes. is top 10 JRPGs of the last generation. Um, yep. So, this one is a little something called Persona 4. Yes. Um, it was quite good, that one. It was bloody excellent. Uh, I love the Megami Tensei games, and Persona is easily the most popular kind of sub-series within yeah, yeah, yeah. that whole thing. Uh, this is Persona 4 Gold in the Vita version, which is even better than the PS2 version because it just adds stuff uh, and doesn't <laughs> doesn't subtract anything. You know, uh, it's absolutely excellent. I, I don't mind grinding in games as long as it feels fun. Yeah. And I think the best JRPGs manage to make it not feel like grinding. Yeah, sure. And that's exactly what Persona 4 does because the combat is really bloody fun mm -hmm. and the characters are really easy to get invested in. Um, if you've played this or if you're going to play this, I really recommend picking up Persona 3 as well. Yeah. Uh, Persona 3 Portable, the PSP version, is probably the best version to go for. Mm -hmm. Um but there's, there's lots of references in Persona 4 to Persona 3. You know, that yeah. the, the, if you've played it previously, you'll you'll feel like a right clever Jones for, uh, <laughs> for recognising. But yeah, two of the best JRPGs, period. Lovely.